Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a summer beauty and lifestyle tag collab. This tag was created by my friend Angela from Beauty by Angela here on YouTube. I'll have her channel in the description box and a bunch of other ladies are collabing on this tag so I'll have everyone's channels in the description box as well as the playlist to everyone's videos. If you really wanna watch a bunch of tags um, or tag videos, <laughs> summer tag videos go ahead and binge watch the playlist will be in the description box uh, so Angela came up with a bunch of questions and uh, I was really excited about this I tried not to read too much into the questions because I don't like my answers to be rehearsed or I don't like to give myself the chance to read too much into the questions and like formulate answers I want it to be kind of like you know natural spur of the moment that kind of thing. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Rania. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoy it while you're watching it. Now let's go ahead and get into the questions. The first one, I'm going to try not to skip. I'm going to try not to skip them. I can't remember exactly how many questions, but try my best to get through them all without skipping any of them. First one, what's your favorite summer drink? my boring ice water with lemon um that's if we're talking like an everyday drink what i drink all day every day it would be ice water with lemon sometimes i add mint but it's too hot outside i didn't want to go out and pick some mints so just ice water and lemons but if we're talking about an alcoholic beverage and i'm being an adult going somewhere and having a drink it would be a margarita like a regular margarita it pref preferably it would be fresh limes not the mix it would be over the rocks with uh, lots of salt on the rim that would be my summer drink actually that sounds great for every time of the year mm, winter time i'll go with wine but we're not talking about winter we're talking about summer do you wear makeup to the pool, lake, and beach? No, I do not. The most I would do is like a waterproof mascara, but I hate waterproof mascara because it's a pain in the butt to remove. So I prefer not to do makeup to the pool, lake, or beach unless it's like celebrating someone's birthday and I know I'm not gonna get in the water. Then, yes, I would wear makeup. Um, but if I'm just going for water activities, no makeup. <clears throat> Flip flops or cute sandals? Flip flops. Hamburgers or hot dogs? This was a really hard one. Uh, I'm going to say both. Although, maybe I would go for hamburgers more often than hot dogs. But if I had the choice, let's say I'm on a barbecue and they have both hamburgers and hot dogs. I'm going to get one of each. Can't resist that. Foundation or bare skin? uh most days foundation because i do work and you know i do wear makeup when i go to work so it would be foundation it would just be a little bit lighter coverage not too matte and if it's the weekend and i'm just with my family bare skin cute floppy hat or adorable sunglasses sunglasses i do not i do not look good in a hat no matter how floppy it is watermelon or ice cream watermelon like really cold watermelon it's just something about the juiciness of a watermelon uh shorts capris or skirts sundresses i'm gonna say shorts that would be my number one choice unless again it's like some sort of occasion or something then it will be a skirt or a dress bikini or one piece suit uh one piece unless i'm lounging by the pool all my questions are like one or the other darn um yeah if i know i'm gonna be swimming or running after my son it will be a one piece but if i'm just like chilling by the pool just there not to really get on the water it would be a two-piece or a bikini what's your signature summer fragrance i don't know that i have a signature summer fragrance but one that i really like in the summer is this one or this is new to me so that's why i really i've been really liking it and this is the elizabeth arden white tea wild rose well tea wild rose wait white tea not wild tea white tea wild rose this smells amazing and it lasts on the skin for such a long time so i really have been enjoying this i 
typically would go for like a florally fresh kind of scent in the summer um, nothing too sweet uh, favorite summer lip color I would go for like a nude light pinky pink nude color um, actually it's kind of like all year round camping or glamping <laughs> glamping for sure Rania does not do camping I love that scream summer to you. Mm, maybe like a shimmery eyelid, like a one shadow look with like a shimmery, like glowy eyelid. Um, I would still wear a full on smoky eye, maybe not super dark. Well, kind of saying that with a purple smoky eye. Yeah, but I would do that summertime, but if I see someone wearing like a pink, blue, green eyeshadow eye look, it kind of calls summer to me, but for me, it's got to be the deeper colors, the grungy colors, with a pop of shimmer. Uh, <laughs> trying to figure out where I am. Roasted marshmallows, lightly brown to perfection or burnt? Absolutely burnt. I love that flavor. And maybe while we're at it, if we're making popcorn, why not burn it as well? It is delicious. Favorite go-to summer hairstyle? This is it. My hair's down pretty much all of the time. Occasionally it will be in a bun, but hair down. One beauty product you cannot live without for summer. Okay, this one I had to think about really hard because does deodorant count as a beauty product? Because if it does, it would be deodorant. But if I had to choose something else or two products, here we go again, another question with two answers. It would be like a setting spray or like a facial mist kind of thing. There's just so refreshing and I don't want my makeup to melt off. If I'm going to work, anything like that, I need the setting spray. Uh, dream summer vacation destination I don't know something tropical for sure but I don't know what country it would be or what state or anything like that it's gonna be tropical though I do really enjoy just relaxing by the beach sipping my margarita with my big old sunglasses and that's it favorite childhood summer experience or memory <sighs> used to go to the beach a lot like we live 10 minutes away from the beach Go to the beach from, I don't know, 10 in the morning to like 4 in the afternoon. That's when nobody cared about sunscreen. We would come home absolutely burnt to a crisp and my mom would just give us watermelon. That was like my absolute favorite summer memory. Or the occasional corn on the cob, but watermelon would be the choice for me. You know, after a really long day at the beach, hence why I love watermelon. Okay. <laughs> Does your skin tan or burn? Um, I do get really, really red the first day I go to the beach, but after that it tans. Um, that only happens the first time I go to the beach. If I did not apply enough sunscreen, I would get that redness, but then I am tan and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, please go ahead and check out the ladies in the description box, watch their video, check out their answers. I'm really curious to watch what everyone's gonna say. Um, if you would be really interested, the questions will be in the description box. Go ahead and leave your answers in the comments. I would love to see what you guys say. Again, if you're new, I hope you subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!